Hey everybody, Chavin, and nobody else's auto. New addition to the fleet. Now, a lot of you guys know that I'm a big Trans Am guy. F bodies in general, Firebird, Camaro, second, third, fourth gen, all that stuff is right up my alley. First gen stuff, I wasn't even born, so that stuff really doesn't excite me too much, but I grew up on second, third, and fourth gen cars, and I love them, and I've got a lot of them. From my Marty Blue 78, it's an all original car that's been here in town its entire life, all the way up to these 01 and 02 WS6 cars. Now, obviously, the second gen cars, the Smokey and the Bandit Trans Am's crazy popular. The third gen cars are starting to get popular. I've got some of all of those as well. I've got some, an 82 Camaro Pace car, 92 Z28 convertible. When you get into the third or the fourth gen cars, always love the 25th anniversary Trans Am. I've got a couple of those. I've got a 30th anniversary 97Z. But when we get into that 98 to 02 window, the last of the F bodies prior to the Camaro's reintroduction of the fifth gen car, when we get to that 98 to 02 window, hands down, Pontiac had this one nailed with the WS6. I've always loved those cars, thought they were one of the best looking cars ever made, always wanted one. Now when the 99 30th anniversary came out, I also thought that was a pretty cool car, but it can almost be a little bit too much as well. But the 01 and the 02, the last Trans Ams, they were kind of a, they had the best top end, they breathed better, they made good power, and they were an amazing looking car. So adding one of those to the collection was always a goal of mine. Now if you remember a couple years back, we picked up the white O2 WS6 convertible that we've been running Rocky Mountain Race Week for the last few years with. But I didn't have a coupe. So obviously you need a coupe, right? It just makes perfect sense. You got a convertible, you gotta have a coupe. Well, I came across this O1 in pewter WS6 coupe, 57,000 miles, pretty nice car. So we added that one to the collection. Now what I didn't realize is they didn't make a lot of O1s. They didn't make a lot of O2s as well, but the O1 production run was even smaller. I'm assuming they probably just rolled them into O2s uh, because it was gonna be the last year. I don't really know. But regardless, they did not make very many O1 and O2 WS6s, period. So having one of each in the collection was pretty excited about it. So we've done some videos on the O2 WS6 when we got that car in, as well as a lot of stuff racing it on Rocky Mountain Race Week. This O1 just came in recently, let's check it out. Like I said, 57,000 actual miles, pewter coupe, and it's a pretty nice car. Inside, interior is very clean. There's a few things I don't like about it that I'm gonna need to change. It's got an aftermarket radio in it. It's got the wrong antenna on the, on the back of the car. Some things like that. But, you know, the seats are nice. The carpet's nice. And even the, you know, the door panels with the exception of the mandatory crack that I think every one of these cars has in them right in this area on this door panel. The interior is very nice in it. The body has a few dings, a few scuffs in it because it is a 20 year old used car, but super cool cars and I love them. Now, one thing while we got the door open that we gotta watch very, very closely, and as crazy as it sounds, I've seen some of these at some big collector car auctions this year. Clones, yes, believe it or not, they are cloning these cars. Now here on your service parts identification sticker, you have got to have this WS6 on a Trans Am or it's not a WS6. You can get a regular Trans Am and you can put a Ram Air hood and a Ram Air box on it and say it's a WS6, but that doesn't make it a WS6. If it does not have it on the option code, it's not a WS6 car. Now, we're used to seeing clones in the old muscle cars, things like that, but I have seen, in fact, the last collector car auction I went to, I saw three fourth gen F bodies that were all clones. One Trans Am that had been cloned into a Firehawk, one Trans Am that had been cloned into a WS6, and a Camaro that had been cloned into a 35th anniversary SS, all at one auction. So that's how prevalent this clone situation is becoming on these. So super important if you're looking for one of those cars, make, these cars make sure WS6 is on that sticker. Another thing I don't particularly personally like about this car, this bird is in here in the window. So may have to change that out, which is fine. I've got parts cars that have back windows in them, so I can get a pull a window out of one of those. The back of the coupe obviously has the taller spoiler on it, which is a great looking feature. And as we can see on the convertible, it uses the lower rear spoiler. And this particular car has 76,000 miles, I think, on it right now. Of course, you've got the important WS6 badge, but that again, that can also be added to one of these cars and 
cloned into a WS6. Non-factory antenna here, obviously I would like to replace that so it looks correct. But we'll work our way around the front to what just makes these cars amazing. This has got to be one of, in my, at least in my personal opinion, one of the best looking noses ever put on a car. This WS6 front end they use on the 98 to 02 Trans Am. It is aggressive, it is sharp, it is clean. It just checks all the boxes that you want to see on a performance car, and I think they just knocked it out of the park. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with a 98 to 02 Camaro, but when you park a 98 to 02 Camaro next to a WS6 Trans Am, in my personal opinion, there is no comparison. Under the hood of these cars, LS powered, and like we talked about, the 01, 02 had a little better top end. They breathed a little better. And it was the last of the line. And obviously me being an F-body guy, having the last of the line is pretty cool. Pontiac Ram Air right across the front here. Fresh air comes right up, right up into here, straight into the air filter, straight into the engine. So really in my personal opinion, these things were an amazing car, a great looking car. You see the back of the WS6 hood here where the, snork where the snorkels are at in the hood, where that's opened up. Like I said, to me, being an F-body guy, I just always thought that Pontiac just knocked it out of the park with this last generation of the Trans Am. So, there you have it, the new addition to the fleet. Parked next to the one we picked up a couple years ago that, as you can tell by how the stickers, we've been running that car pretty hard on Rocky Mountain Race Week, having a lot of fun with that and all of our friends on there. So added the 01 Coupe in pewter to go with the white 02 convertible into the collection here. And uh, so that's why I do this stuff. I have a lot of fun with my own cars and I have a lot of cars that I like to collect personally. And that's why I do this. That's why I'm in the game. That's why we do these videos, because it's all fun, and we do it because we enjoy the hobby and have a lot of fun with them. So, like I said, to me, having one was good, having two is always better, right? Doesn't always make the most sense, but hey, what's better than one WS6, two WS6s? So there you have it, the 01 WS6, the latest edition of the fleet, the 02 WS6 convertible that we've had for a couple years, and uh, wanted to share those with you. So please check out the channel. If you like our old cars and old trucks, that's all we do on here. All the stuff that comes into the yard, I show you videos on it. We do a lot of other cool stuff, museums, car shows, things like that. So be sure to check out the channel, Nobody Show. Definitely click that subscribe button and click that notification button. We do a lot of cool live stuff on here. You don't want to miss any of that either. So hope you enjoyed it, the WS6s. Stay tuned. we got a lot more cool stuff coming up. Thanks for watching, everybody.